make an offering on the Lord this morning. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somewhere in the late 70s. Amen. On a Thursday night. I made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When I reached out to God, I didn't know if he would hear me. I didn't know if he cared anything about me. But I, with all the sincerity I had, I told him if he would save me, I'd do whatever he wanted me to do. And you know he visited me that same night in my room. I felt his glory. And I've never been the same since that night. Hallelujah. Somebody say, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Bless the name of the Lord. If you're giving electronically this morning, Minister Tyus can assist you. Just raise your hand so she knows who you are. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord said he loves a cheerful giver. So as you give your offerings this morning, amen, just do it with a big smile. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Minister Ties is not the Lord, but give her a big smile like you're smiling into the face of your God. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Just want to see him. Just want to look upon his face. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Our God said he would supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory. Hallelujah. The scripture says, Count upon a thousand hills belong to God. And if God needed anything, he wouldn't have to ask man for anything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For it was he who created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. He was he who created man. Created man in his image and in his likeness. Hallelujah. The Bible said it does not yet appear what we shall be. But when Jesus Christ appear, we're going to be just like him. Because we're going to see him as he is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And assist Bishop and assist Minister Tyson. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. God's been good to you, say amen. amen. Oh, if you feel he's really been good to you, say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God, amen, for 69 years. Amen. Glory to God. You know, I'm looking forward to 70. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to it. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to get ready and pray. Lord Jesus, Father in heaven, we give thanks for the tithes and the offering we received today. And Lord God, we thank you for the faith that you've given us to give back to you. Oh God, but you declare that whatever we give to you, you're going to give it back to us. Press down, shaken together, and run it over will men give unto your bosoms. Lord God, we thank you. Bless this amount, multiplying like only you can, that the work might be completed here at Greater Jesus Tabernacle. In Jesus' name we pray. Every heart say amen. 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 God bless you.
praise God for Elder Hughes. Somebody said happy birthday, Elder Hughes. Happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday Elder Hughes. I don't know if you got what he was saying, but it's, today's his birthday. 69 years. Amen. They uh, used to call me in a lot uh, to different churches, to, uh, well, some churches, to MC during anniversary and uh, the celebration services. And I, I don't know, y'all know me, I just, oh, she's ready. I just make up a song uh, sometime. And uh, 69 years, and I'm so glad. 69 years, and I'm so, now he's been looking for Jesus a long time. 69 years, and I'm so glad. The Lord's been good. The Lord's been good to me. Every, hallelujah, 69 years. And we're so glad that God bless you with the 69 years. And we're so the Bible classes are good. Amen. The prayers are good. The teaching is good. And I'm stand on up and praise God for the God and all the youth. 69 years. And I'm so, so glad. 69 years. And I'm so We got a, a, a quick, uh, some words we want to say and, and appreciate you. Is it all right to appreciate God's people? Yeah. Amen. We won't be long. We just want you to know how much we love you. You are, um, you're a father to so many of us. We thank you. You're, you're dad to me. My dad's not here, so, but I know that uh, you're a spiritual father. So I thank God for you. And we all do. Amen? Yeah. We all do. We all do. We all do. And um, this isn't enough to repay you for all that you've done for us, but it's uh, it, to let you know, Elder Hughes is a fisher of men, and he likes to fish. <laughs> he likes to eat fish. <laughs> and so um, this is a fisher's theme. Um, be careful when you open it, because we got you a hook right here to clip on your hat. <laughs> and maybe bring in a big bass for us, and we can fry here in the church. Love you. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. All right. Amen. And excuse him while he goes uh, and helps Jaden. Can you go with Elder Hughes, please, while he prepares uh, the baptism? And uh, Jeremiah, you might need a refresher. You want to? <laughs> you want to go to? <laughs> where eventually we'll have it to where we'll have young deacons and ministers up here doing, uh, able to carry on and do some of that uh, work. You know, the hot water tank went out last week. Did you know that? The hot water tank went out last week. And one time, let me go back in time about a year, year and a half, when we had a water valve busted. Water went everywhere. We had that a few times. But about a year, year and a half ago, we had a water valve busted. It was summertime. We wanted to baptize a young man. He wanted to be baptized. And the water valve busted. While I was preaching, Elder Hughes was calling. He did something genius. He was calling the, the, uh, the fire department. They call them fire protection now. They call them the fire protection agency. And I didn't think that they would uh, service a church for baptism. But, you know, they came out here in this back alley. And we got, and we still have a, a water trough, a horse trough, I think they call it, right? And a water tank that horses drink water from. That's what most people used to get baptized in, in old churches, and country churches. We still have that. We baptized someone in a wheelchair a year ago downstairs. But... The water protection came, and we put that water trough on the ledge, nice little landing outside, and they filled that water tank up so fast. Wasn't that good? They filled it up like, in, I don't know, about five minutes, probably two minutes. 
And they said, we would rather, we don't mind helping. We'd rather help and do something good uh, like this. And, and uh, it, was a, it was a blessing. So last week, the water, hot water went out. And while I was preaching, uh, he was down there um, boiling water and putting it in big uh, uh, pitchers or, or pots. And then he poured it. And he got some help. He poured in the uh, big, what do you call those things? Water coolers. So we carry water coolers, hot water up there to meet the cold water. It got good. So he is a fisher of men, and we appreciate all he does. And he has quick thinking. Oh, I need some quick thinkers around me. Because when God moves, we have to move quickly. And uh, brother, what's your first name again? Gilbert. Gilbert, that's right. Somebody say, praise God, Brother Gilbert. He got baptized last week. Now, the hot water helped, but we didn't put that much hot water in there. And we kept wondering, he said, are you all right? Is your heart all right? Do you feel all right? And he didn't bat an eye. He said, no, I put my hand in that water. I said, my God, how can you do this? He got on in there. We made sure he wasn't in there long. But it only takes a split second to save your soul for eternity. Isn't God good? Hallelujah. Brother Gilbert, do you want to say hallelujah? you want to have something to say? I'd say thank God for getting baptized because I need it. Amen. Thank God for salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to go before the Lord with the word. We have a baptism uh, this week. And particularly, this woman, he's been, uh, we preached to her and, and he's been helping out and giving her Bible classes, so he's going to baptize her this morning. Amen? Another soul at Jesus Tabernacle, going down in Jesus' name. There's only one way to be baptized, and that's in the mighty name of Jesus. So real quick before I preach, I want to get this all out the way. Uh, as Myron plays softly over there. Thank you, Brother Myron Goodwin. He had a birthday yesterday. <laughs> Somebody say happy birthday, Brother Myron Goodwin. Amen. And, and and just so happen, happen just so has it, uh, I'm not going to tell you everything, but I've been blessing him this week, haven't I? <laughs> so God has been good to him. God will give you favor and blessings. I'm not going to tell y'all how. It's none of y'all business. But God is good. So, <laughs> but I appreciate him. His dad was our minister of music. He found his way here. Uh, he didn't know that. Didn't know that. I didn't grow up with him. I grew up with every good one but him. And I didn't know his dad was his, or that was his dad. And he didn't know his dad used to come here years ago. He got our choir started. So we thank God for him. Isn't it, something how God orders our steps and life is cyclical? Isn't that amazing? I'm Pastor Jimmy. Welcome to Greater Jesus Tabernacle. And uh, let me just uh, put a few things in perspective today. Uh, Bishop was talking to Bishop. Foster, the founder of this church, give him a hand clap. Amen. Founder of this church. I was talking to him yesterday, and he was a fasting and praying man. He would put oil in spray bottles. And there was two different properties that we got into because anointing the property with oil. And uh, the spray bottles was just something he did. Uh, he didn't do it all the time, but he, he was always thinking of ingenious ways to, ingenuity type of ways to, uh, anoint and pray. He would pray, uh, anoint his feet. Remember, we preached about feet, shy with preparation of peace, uh, gospel of peace. Anoint his feet every morning. Amen. I didn't put that in my sermon last week, but I anoint my feet. When I anoint my feet in the morning, or whenever I think about it, sometimes it's in the noonday, uh, sometimes it's at night, God just starts blessing. And I don't even think about it. Look up about two weeks later, I'm like, wait a minute, I was anointing my feet and my head with oil. And God just blessed. But you know, he blesses because of our faith. He told the woman, you know, with the issue of blood, your faith has made you whole. Amen? And then we use the tools that he has for us. The tools he has ordained. But it's mainly, it's, it's your faith. Just believing that God chose this way, so you're going to do it this way. Just believing that God chose the name Jesus to save you. Amen? Amen. It's his face. So Bishop, uh, he was talking about fasting. 
And he said he came off a fast of 40 days and 40 nights. And I started looking up fasting uh, from a, a different perspective. I said, how much, what did Gandhi eat and drink when he fasted? What did Gandhi eat and drink when he fasted? I said, I know he wasn't like Jesus. I just, <laughs> he's a great man. But I know he wasn't like Jesus. Uh, Gandhi fought, fasted and had several fasts. And I looked it up and I started saying, oh, okay. He drank water, which I believe in drinking water. We can't all just go dry. Uh, he drank lemon juice. Lemon juice every day. And then there was another supplement. Now my bishop that believes in Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights with just water. Isn't that amazing? We're here because of praying and fasting. I wouldn't be here if my mother, father, and father, my pastor didn't pray for me. You wouldn't be here if somebody didn't pray and fast for you. Isn't God good? So he said when he come off the fast, he would eat uh, broth and soup and even baby food. Broth and soup. So when you come off a fast, especially a long fast, eat light. We're in a fast today and tomorrow, and then next Saturday, or next Sunday and Monday. We're in a praying and a fasting hour at this church. I'll explain to you more about it. And he would eat baby food too sometimes. Wouldn't you do that? Baby food coming off the fast. So while God is building us and we're growing spiritually, amen, we also get wisdom on how to treat the physical body. Isn't God good? And he said, and that baby food was so good. <laughs> that baby food was so good. It reminded me when I was young, young siblings, you know, we get to eat their baby food sometime. Wasn't it good? So I thank God for him praying and fasting. One time he fasted for, I think, 21 days, and he did three days without water. Now, you know, he was superhuman, wasn't he, Marty? He was eating in a lot of different ways. But he did three days without water, then he continued for the rest of the 20-day fast with water. So those are some uh, historical uh, references about fasting and, and what fasting does. One time, I think he was in a, a fast, and he got a call. Oh, my God. You know, God woke him up at night. It was one of my former teachers. God woke him up on account of. Woke him up on at night, and God said, he said, I see a woman in trouble. Is that what it was? Yeah. There's some details. Yeah. She couldn't. She couldn't. She was having a hard time. Having a hard time breathing. Yeah. Asphyxiation was setting in. Yeah. And he said, we got to pray. He got on his knees. I think his, my, my mom got on her knees too. Yeah. And they prayed. Well, a few days later, they found out who they was praying for. And God stayed the hand of death. And she said, that was me you was praying for. Uh, they, they put two and two together, and they said, about what time? And it was my teacher. She was here about a couple years ago for the uh, installation and the anniversary service, Mrs. Snap. But she said, uh, something happened. I think a car was left on, or there was a gas leak, and carbon dioxide was about to kill him. But he got up and prayed. And she equated, he didn't do it, she equated directly to the vision and the prayer, the dream God sent him at night. God is good. We're in praying and fasting. God woke me and my daughter up last night in about the same dream. I'm not going to tell you right now, but me and my wife, we prayed. Got up and prayed. God is moving. And and and, and, and then uh, two of my sisters had a dream last night about uh, God coming back. You know, God is coming back to our church without a spot or wrinkle. This is the end times church, and it's time to get close to him. And while we get close to him, we start to realize some of us didn't know how bad we was, how evil we was, or how wicked we was. But we start to get close to him, and sometimes he would just get close to him so he shows you his mysteries and his truths. Amen. And then we fast and pray for salvation, him saving our lives, saving somebody's life, bringing us out of bondage. Amen. So Jesus told the man, the apostles, he said, these things only come out by fasting. He said, first you've got to believe, but these things only come out by fasting and praying. Amen. The, with the boy that had a demonic oppression. So I thank God we will be praying here at 6 p.m. tonight. We're praying at 6 p.m. tonight. We come in, we only turn a few of the lights on, and we spread out. 
And then we all uh, go before the Lord in prayer. We anoint you with oil. Some want to tarry for the Holy Ghost. And I, I encourage all of you to tarry for the Holy Ghost. Uh, tarry at the altar till the Holy Ghost come. Like on the day of Pentecost when they spoke in tongues. Amen. This is one of our gifts from the Lord. Every one of you. Hallelujah. So prayer tonight at 6 p.m. You're going to try to be here. Amen. We're in the hour of fasting and praying that God makes us stronger, better, wiser, and brings us closer. And when he does that, the enemy has no chance in our life. Hallelujah. The enemy has no chance in our life. Somebody said, hallelujah. He's under God's feet. I'm not going to shout with you this morning like we've done in the past. But remember a few weeks ago, I said, he's under my feet. Yes. It's in the name of Jesus. Yes, we had a good time in the Lord, just to remind you. Just to remind you. Now, since we're doing this as a church, that means we're going to see the church here. Not just the elders. Not just a few people, but I want to see all of you here. Sacrifice your time. God will bless you. But he'll bless you just from relationship with him. He's so peaceful. He's so kind. He's so marvelous. He's so loving. He'll bless you with his with the communication with him. Give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we real quick and I'll go on. We drink water. Uh, do not eat a lot of food the day before or the day after the fast. Uh, we're going, somebody says, two people asked me, is this a 24 hour fast or a 48 hour fast? And I was about to answer, I was like, why would they answer? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> it's both. It's both. Some people can only fast. You haven't worked your way up to the whole day of not eating or two days of not eating. So if you have to skip two meals, please do that. Please do that. Amen? Amen? And fast with us and pray with us and meditate on the scriptures I've been sending out to you. Meditate on the word. Pray. Have faith. Believe in victory in God. Amen? Believe in victory in God. While you fast, we believe. While we pray, we believe. Keep your mind on God. Keep your mind on God, not the devil. Now, Sister Roberta told me, and I wanted her to utter some words this morning, but I'll just say it and move on. We're trying to be... Uh, uh, a little bit faster this morning. But she said, and she reminded me, all the way in North Carolina, what her parents said was about what I've heard all my life. But she heard it in a special way. If you bring something to her of concern, or if you're talking about something that uh, is not like God, something that you know the devil is in, her 